Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Gotta Want Mob with Tactical Chaos One Gaming Channel on YouTube, and today I'm uh, bringing you another video of the Division Two. But today we are going to look into the cosmetic uh, part of the builds. So a while back, the Division Two put in a feature in the um, cosmetic part of like your build. Say you want to have you like the way a certain chest piece looks, but that doesn't exactly fit what you want in your build. You can now go to your chest piece or to any piece of your gear and change the appearance slot while keeping the piece of gear that you want. You simply go to the appearance slot right here and then you can just go down, scroll, find whatever chest piece you want and put that onto your gear. So the chest piece will still be the gear set that you want or the gear piece that you want but look like something else. Which is probably one of the coolest features that they added into the division in a long time as far as I'm concerned. Because, I mean, I know it's pointless as far as gameplay goes but i do like my character to look pretty sick i don't know about you guys but i like the way my character looks that's probably one of my favorite things of the game that and just the super op builds that you can make but anyway so you just basically fit whatever fits your personality what you like best to your character um for the sake of just getting it done right now i'll pick this one and then um, the only piece of gear that you can't change the way it looks is exotics. Exotics stay the way they are. You cannot change exotics to look like anything else. And you cannot make your gear look like exotics. Those are off limits in the appearance feature. So, just so you guys know. And then you can go, you can change your, every piece of gear besides exotics. Your gloves. Your knee pads. Your holster and then you could change the colors too to match them and they also made um, a lot more of the gear uh, acceptable to change when you change the colors on it because I know some of the gear wouldn't exactly change completely black when you put the gear or when you put the color on it some of them like didn't always change the color you wanted it to so they also changed that feature for a lot of them too not for every piece but for a lot And if you guys are watching my channel and you're enjoying this, please don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. And definitely hit the subscribe button. Help me grow this channel. I've been putting out some videos. You guys have been watching. But my subscri uh, subscribe button's still not getting hit that much. I know it's hard sometimes to remember. Or we just don't think about it. But I really appreciate it for all my viewers to start subscribing. Because it helps me grow my channel. And helps me keep wanting to put out videos. So I know people want to see my content. And I really appreciate everybody that watches my channel very much. Thank you guys. And so, right here, see, we can just keep going and changing it. Right now, I'm uh, using the exotic memento backpack with the Hunter Fury build. And as you can see, my character is customized the way I want him to be. And he doesn't look like any piece of gear that has the Hunter Fury gear on. But my build is still Hunter Fury. So that's pretty awesome. And like I said, yes, the Memento backpack stays the same. You cannot change exotics. That's the only thing that sucks, but I guess it's like that for a reason. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Ghetto One Mob with Tactical Chaos One Gaming on YouTube. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and drop a like. I appreciate you guys so very much, and uh, see you guys in the next video.